of some news just coming in from a press conference that was supposed to have been held by Ba Echamfo, a leading member, well, a member of the New Patriotic Party at the press center. And we are told that some confusion has scattered that particular press conference. Our reporter, Jonathan Adams, has been sitting through the press conference. He's joined us on the line. Jonathan, good afternoon. Thank you very much. What can you report? Yeah, Martin, um, a while ago, the press conference by the um, MPP Youth Activists, back and forth, and the convener of the um, Save MPP now, uh, back and forth, actually finished his press conference at the press center. And basically, he was talking about the intolerance in the party. He was talking about accountability in the MPP party. And he was also talking about the fact that the old saga of the accountability were... Um, the party actually, some members of the party open secret account mm. to, 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 to divert the party's funds should be investigated and still stand by his petition to the police administration that the matter should be investigated because he believes that most of the money that was diverted has been used for activities of the flag bearer and Anaku Fado. Right. He was also talking about the fact that uh, quite recently, there has been a series of attacks on the personalities of the parties who do not belong to the faction of the Nanado. And mm. this was not a case when Kufour was around. So he believes that these things, when it continues, would actually affect the development of the parties and affect its fortunes in 2016 election. Now, in summary, in summary he was saying that he actually, together with other members of State Ghana NPP, have petitioned the international community mm -hmm. to ensure that Nanado resigned before the interesting election. But we were told that there, were some, there was a scuffle of a sort at that press conference. Is that the case? Yes. Um, uh, Martin, what happened actually was that because um, the press conference was, um, there were heavy police presence at the press conference. And... I find it quite unusual. So just after the press conference, I instructed my cameraman, Ignis Ajao, to go out and take the shot of the area and the police presence there, because it's unusual for me. Just after Ignis was taken, my cameraman was taking the shot, then a police officer walked to him that, no, he was in the shot of my cameraman, so he should delete it. And I saw, I saw it, so I walked to him and I told him that, no, I brought my cameraman, so I cannot allow him to delete any shot because it wasn't that shot alone. We have series of shots on, on the camera, mm. so he wasn't going to delete it. And he started tra struggling with us that he, he was going to delete it before we should delete it before we move out of the premises. And I said no. So it took the intervention of the uh, president, DJA president, Ghana Journalist Association president, mm. after morning to. Um, Advice us together with the police officer to move into his office okay. so that he settle the issue. So that okay. was what happened. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Jonathan Adams, for that update from that press conference.